anniversary's coming up. What would you like to do? I don't care. Something mellow. Hmm. <laughs> it's been like, what? <laughs> Eight years? I cannot believe it took you so long to propose. Yeah, right. <laughs> At that little French restaurant. Mm -hmm. And you cried. That was so sweet. I love waking up with you. I love you. Mm. Plus, we get to spend all day together for a change. What do you mean for a change? You're always with your girlfriends. I am not. Besides, Marcia's getting a divorce. I hardly see her anymore. It's absurd. Mm. She probably just doesn't love him anymore. Mm. Isn't she like an artist or something? Of course. Oh, I gotta go look at our accounts. I have to pay the mortgage. No, don't go. We can do that tomorrow. Okay. But you're going to help me? Sure. It's just so important to me to have a steady marriage. If there's no connection, then what's the point? Like Peter and Catherine? They never fight. We never fight. Well, sometimes. Well, kind of. I remember when we woke up that morning and we were hugging and talking. Mm -hmm. I was just so happy that you had forgiven me. and It just made me feel that you really loved me. When? After the faculty Christmas party. Why? What happened? You don't remember how we were cuddling that morning? No, Rick. What did I forgive you for? The in... the intern at the office. You cheated on me? You cheated on me. You know, I didn't cheat on you. I mean... I think we talked about this on the way home. Oh, no. We didn't talk about this. I would remember if we talked about this. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Right. Thought we talked about it when we got home. So now you think you can just mess around with anybody and I'm not ever gonna do anything about it? No, no, Julia. It's, it's not like that. Besides, I didn't mean to do it. Like that makes any difference? Julia, come out of the bathroom. Talk to me. Julia, it was an accident. I was drunk. I'm telling you, we talked about it at home. It didn't mean anything. It's not like when you and I make love. It was meaningless. Please come out. I swear we talked about it that same night. You know what? That's okay. And you know why? Because three years ago at your parents' 4th of July party, I fucked Charlie. You did. Bastard. How long did it last? It wasn't an affair. It was just that one time. What are you doing? If you want to talk to someone, talk to me. Get away from me. To you? Yes. Oh, 
So if you go and do your secretary, that's okay. But if I do something wrong, it's totally unacceptable. I didn't screw your family. You're so selfish. You know what? I completely enjoyed having sex with her. It was totally worth it. I'm out of this marriage. Where are you gonna go? Home? Oh yeah, I'd like to see that. You don't have the guts. What do you think your dad's gonna say when he sees you? Why don't you get out of here? All I ever do is what you want me to. You can't afford this on your own. I can get away from you, travel, whatever I want. Travel? On your teacher's salary? Now that's the frustrated artist I've come to know. At least I'll be better off on my own. Of course. Without me, you can embrace the slut you've always been. You're not taking the car. Yes, I am. No, you know I needed to get to work. Then you go. I can't. Julie, I don't want you to go. Charlie and I knew. What a huge mistake we were making. We knew it. We didn't want to hurt you. We didn't want to destroy the family. Your brother and I care for you very much.
we've always been so content with each other and I'm very sorry. I made a very big mistake as well. 